funky duck math. There's always something going on on Grandpa's farm. A place where you're always welcome. Come on, Lily. Let's go feed. <clears throat> hey, kids. How's everybody out there on YouTube land today? Funky, funky duck math today. It's raining outside, so it's going to be kind of a stuck inside kind of day. Uh, um, I actually hear a lawnmower going, so... But it's supposed to start raining here any minute. I was outside a little bit ago. It was looking pretty ominous. So I, I wanted to knock out this video anyway real quick. So here's the deal. Um, funky duck math. Trying to figure out what's the best thing to do for my little limited homestead. Now, I printed out an aerial photo. Oh, no, well, you can see that here. And on my little aerial photo, I have showed the house here. And this is our yard. And I kind of drew up some lines trying to figure out where we can put what. We gotta fit a garden in, place for the duckies. Johanna's bought some chicks, we got more chicks coming. Need area for that, place to move the dogs to. You know, this kind of stuff. Been working through all that. And the problem is we have very limited area here. We have a small yard inside an inner city urban area. And so making profit from what little operation we have is critical. And that's what this is all about, so. We're going to look at some different options, different things we can do to make money. One of the things that I'm doing to uh, improve the income on my little farm is I'm incubating eggs now, as you can see here. I've got eggs. i got eggs going in the brooder, hatching out some baby ducklings. Hatching out baby ducklings is highly profitable. I can make a lot more money selling a baby duckling than I can selling a duck egg, just the way it is. So a little added value to my operation. So let's go ahead and take a look at the numbers. Hey kids, Grandpa here. I am thrilled to bring out a great healthy product like my own goat milk soap. Designed and manufactured from the safest and finest ingredients I could find, my soaps contain olive oil, palm oil, coconut oil, sweet almond oil, and of course, goat's milk. Goat's milk soap will not dry out your skin like many other soaps. This is important in keeping skin naturally moisturized to keep it healthy. Prices and ordering information are in the description down below. Thanks for trying Grandpa's Farms Goat Milk Soaps. Remember, 100% money back guarantee. All right, kids, let's do a little funky duck math, shall we? Rowans versus Silveryard. Are you ready to rumble? <laughs> okay, Rowan ducks. <clears throat> My Rowan ducks. I can sell baby ducklings. Uh, five dollars a piece for Rowan ducks. Typically, a Rowan hen will lay 160 eggs in a given year. That's 13.3 dozen eggs in a year. I can sell duck eggs at four dollars a dozen all day long. So my income from my one Rowan hen, fifty-three dollars and thirty-three cents in eggs. Not bad. Not bad. However, if I take those same 160 eggs and I put them inside of an incubator, I can now sell them for $800. In reality, I found that I'm actually only able to, to hatch out about 60% of the eggs. So I really wouldn't get $800 if I adjust for a 40% loss, my actual income would be $480 in ducklings from a single hen. That's 160 eggs, put in the incubator where only 60% of them hatch out, and then I can take those hatched out ducklings and sell them at five bucks a piece. Gives me $480. Okay, let's compare that now to our apple yard duck. The silver apple yard duck, I can sell those ducklings for $7 a piece. A silver apple yard will lay 250 eggs a year, 90 eggs more than the Rowan does. And I can sell those ducklings for $7 instead of $5. Okay, let's look at the eggs. 250 eggs, 20.8 dozen, again, $4 a dozen. Rowan or silver apple yard, it matters not. A duck egg is a duck egg, $4 a dozen. I can make $83.33 per hen on selling duck eggs. Folks, that's not bad. That's really not bad income just by itself. Okay. However, again, if I take those 250 eggs 
and I put them in an incubator and I experience the same 40% loss that I have been, I can make $1,050 per year per hen, each individual hen. Now, let's take a look at some of this stuff. The reality of it is, is that I think I can only sell ducklings for about six months out of the year. There are six months out of the year, people aren't going to be interested in buying a baby duck. But I can still sell eggs. So for six months out of the year, I can sell the eggs from my silver apple yard hen, from my one hen. I can still make $41.67 selling eggs for six months, and then take the other six months, hatch out those eggs at eighty-seven fifty a month, or $525 over six months. So for six months out of the year, I sell eggs. Six months out of the year, I incubate those eggs and sell them. I make five twenty-five. dollars That gives me a combined income of $566 a year per hen. If I went to 10 hens, if I went to 20 hens, we're talking about some serious money now. We're talking about some very serious money. If I could do $566 a hen, I mean, we're talking mortgage payments, guys. We're talking about car payment kind of money. You do that with 10 hens, 12 hens, do that with 12 hens. 12 hens, $566 a month for 12 hens. That's a really nice new truck. Or for that matter, that's a mortgage payment on a $75,000, $80,000 worth of land. I mean, seriously, that's some pretty good money. So clearly, the Silver Apple Yard is the superior duck monetarily than the Rowan duck. It lays 90 eggs more than the Rowan does, and I can sell those babies for $2 more than I can the Rowans. So it makes a lot of sense for me to go ahead and sell my Rowan ducks that I have and increase my silver apple yard flock. By the way, from a point of comparison, uh, one of the major hatcheries, I'm not going to name names who they are, but 3M, you can figure it out. Uh, they sell straight run Rowan ducklings for 680 and straight run silver apple yards at $10.02. So I'm well below market and, and so a reasonable, a reasonable number, not some pie in the sky. Oh, maybe we can get these are actual numbers that we're, we're getting already. And the four dollars a dozen for eggs. Again, these are real numbers. I'm sorry, but I've seen some of these homestead channels put out some numbers that are just, you know, ridiculous. So anyhow, clear winner here. Silver Apple Yard wins the day. And why I'll be going ahead and making some changes in my farm. I'll be getting rid of some of my rounds and going over to my silver apple yards. This is a business, folks. This is a farm to make money. Yes, it's my homestead. Yes, there's a lot of other emotions and what have you along. The rowan ducks, beautiful ducks. They're very pretty. But the green backs coming off the silver apple yards is even prettier. So when you have your homestead, you have to make those value judgments. What's important to you? But I can tell you for a fact, if the numbers aren't right, it's not just going to be sustainable. You might like having this duck or that pig or whatever chicken, but if the numbers aren't going to support that, you really got to reconsider what you're doing. Anyhow, I hope you've enjoyed my little funky duck math. Let's go ahead and continue the video. Well, there you have it, a little funky duck math, huh? Who'd have thunk it? Damn near $12,000 a year from 20 ducks. 20 ducks. 20 ducks laying eggs and hatching them out. Now, obviously, that's 20 hens. So you're going to need a couple roosters. 20 hens, two, three roosters should give you a, a pretty good fertility rate. Um, let's talk a little bit about infrastructure costs. What do you need for ducks? Well... I built my ducks a plywood, not really great looking, but a plywood little house, four feet by four feet. It took two sheets of plywood. It took um, one, two, three, three two by fours, three two by fours, two sheets of plywood, and two eight foot 
uh, four two by twos. So I don't know, hundred bucks. I got maybe in it. I got maybe a hundred bucks in her house. Uh, and then I bought some uh, some fencing that I found online. Um, I, you know, I, I spent two hundred dollars buying this heavy rigid fencing. Not that you need serious fencing like that for ducks. I need serious fencing like that because of my dogs, to keep the dogs out of the ducks. People, you got to remember, when you put fencing up, it's not what you're fencing in. It's what you're fencing out that matters. So, you know, for a $300 investment and in the course of buying the ducks initially, now I can incubate and add to my numbers at, at will whenever I want to. Uh, but for a very reasonable cost... I can get a small flock of ducks, which I can raise here in an urban environment in the inner city because ducks don't quack. I'm sorry. <laughs> ducks do quack. Ducks don't crow because ducks don't crow. You can have them here in the inner city. Isn't that right, Lily? Can we have ducks in the inner city? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. And, uh, and you know, from 20 hens, I can make 12000 a year. 12,000 a year from 20 hands. That's amazing. You know, that's a $1,000 a month mortgage payment, guys. That's a $1,000 a month mortgage payment. That's, uh, you know, you put a reasonable down payment on a $200,000 $200, farm, and that's the money to pay off the balance. That's pretty amazing. So, anyhow, I hope you enjoy this kind of uh, funky duck math numbers uh, kind of videos. I'll try to do these kinds of things uh, in the near future, keep you guys, you know, realistic in your expectations of what you're going to be involved with financially. Uh, but, boy, a bit of an eye-opener and certainly makes me want to get rid of the round ones and get more silver apple yards. But, you know, that's just ducks. That's just ducks. And you guys start thinking about, well, what about chickens? What about geese? What about turkeys? What else can I raise? And then add that into the mix. I tell you, there's a lot of money to be made in homesteading if you approach it from the right angle. So, anyhow, Lily and I, I'm just scratching her butt. She just loves that. Lily and I will have more for you later, later. Be good, kids. Be good. Be careful. Take good care of one another. And we'll have more for you later. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to share the videos with your friends. Right? Right? <laughs> Okay, thanks, guys. Well, how about them toad suckers? Ain't they sappy? Sucking them toads all sure make them happy. Hug them, mug of toad suckers way down south. Sticking them sucky toads in their mouth. I be a toad sucker, knowing a duck it. You just find an old toad and you rear back and suck it. Folks, you have a good day. Bye.